Hello friends, here in this video we are going to solve a problem where we have to measure the limiting error in the measurement. So let us start with our problem. So our question is that uh, for a wheatstone bridge we know that when we are measuring the resistance from a wheatstone bridge the unknown resistance is given by the formula R2, R3 upon R1. R4 is the unknown resistance. So this is the formula given by a wheatstone bridge. Now the resistance R1 is 100 ohm and the error in this is plus minus 0.5 percent. The resistance R2 is 1000 ohm and the error in this value is plus minus 0.5 percent. R3 resistance is 842 ohms and the error is plus minus 0.5 percent. So in both the uh, three resistances the percentage error is plus minus 0.5 percent. Now we have to determine the magnitude of the unknown resistance that is R4 and also we have to find out the limiting error in percent that is we have to find out the percentage limiting error and in ohms also we have to find out for the unknown resistance. So percentage limiting error also we have to find and in ohms also we have to find out the limiting error. So let us try to solve this problem. Now the formula for the unknown resistance is given to us as R2, R3 upon R1. So if we are finding the limiting error in the unknown resistance R4, so that will be equal to So this is the limiting error in the unknown resistance or we can say it is the relative limiting error because we are measuring the error with respect to the true value. So del R2 is the uh, error and R2 is the true value so we have find out here the relative limiting error. Now first of all in the question we are asked that we have to determine the magnitude of the unknown resistance also. So we can simply put the value of all the resistances here. R2 is given to us in the question as 1000 ohm. R3 is given as 842 ohms and R1 is given as 100 ohms. So if we solve this we will get 8420 ohms. So this is the magnitude of the resistance, unknown resistance R4. Now here in the resistance R2, the error is given to us as plus uh, minus 0.5%. So this del R2 upon R2 is 0.5. Here del R1 upon R1 is 0.5 because it is given in percentage so this is the percentage limiting error del r3 upon r3 is given to us as 0.5 okay so every value is given to us so just put here del r4 upon r4 is equal to plus minus del r2 upon r2 is 0.5 0 0.5 0 .5 plus 0.5 so del R4 upon R4 is plus minus 1.5 and this is in percentage. So here we have find out the percentage relative limiting error in the unknown resistance R4. Now true value of the resistance is known to us 8420. So if we find out 1.5% of this true value we can get the error 
because del R4 upon R4 is equal to plus minus 1.5 percent. So del R4 will be equal to plus minus 1.5 percent of R4 or we can say del R4 is equal to plus minus 1.5 upon 100 because here we are having percentage value of R4 is 8420 so here the when we solve this we will get del R4 equals to here 15 and 10 so it will be 3 and 2 here so when we solve this we will get 4 2 1 so we will get the value as 42 uh, here multiplying this 3 with it so 3 6 and 1 2 6 point 3 ohms so this is the del r4 okay now this is the error in the ohms so in the question we were asked that we have to find out the errors in ohm also and in percentage also so if we found out this error in percentage it will be We have calculated it as uh, plus minus 1.5 percent earlier. So 1.5 percent it is in the percentage and 126.3 ohms it is in ohms. Here also plus minus. Now we have to find out the range of values for the resistance if it is having the error plus minus 126.3 ohms. So the resistance value is 8420. So it can either be 8420 plus 126.3 ohms also it can be 8420 minus of 126.3 ohms so it can have the plus range also and it can have the minus range also so that will be the range of values for this resistance so when we add this we will get 8293 here uh, when we are subtracting we will get 8293.7 ohms and when we are adding we will get 8546.3 ohms when we are adding we will get 6 2 is 4 then 4 plus 1 5 so 8 5 46.3 ohms and here when we are subtracting we will get 8293.7 ohms so this is the maximum value of the resistance which can be measured and this is the minimum value of the resistance that can be measured through this wheatstone bridge so in the question we are given that we have to find out the value of this unknown resistance using this formula. The value of other resistance is given to us. Then we have to find out the percentage error, the limiting error in this resistance. Also, we have to find out in ohms that what will be the error in this unknown resistance, what will be the range of values for this resistance. So I hope that this problem is now clear to you. Thank you.